day. I hope you're having a blessed day. Oh yeah, man. Today I want to make a video about would you accept conditional help? When I say this, I really thought that it was on my heart to kind of talk about this because, you know, it's something that I am going through and something that other people go through in the circumstances in their life where they have to receive help from somebody else who has their hands, their sticky fingers in the role of how they can provide that help for you or that support. Whatever care that they can give, is it really care? Is it genuine care, unconditional love, or is it conditional love? Certainly, if you were to put into a circumstance, you have to agree to a contract. Then you would want that contract to be favorable based on what it can give you, as opposed to the disposition that you would be in without it, and what else it's going to take from you, be that your freedom, your sanity or something that you would value your own peace of mind for example your health your relationships to accept that help would it legitimately be worth it you have to ask that question and i i wow i feel like i've uh already made this video before and i feel like i'm on the right path that's a feeling that i uh i felt before and it feels good. And uh, I'm doing something right here. So I'm glad I'm talking about this video because it's really, really important. Would you want to give up the three most important things in life, for example, your health, your peace of mind, and your relationships, so that you can receive help with wh whatever need it may be that is unmet, whether that's your physical needs, your spiritual needs, your mental needs, or your emotional needs, what kind of health that you're trying to supply? Put it into the perspective of you're homeless, you need help, you don't want to live on the streets anymore, you don't want to live here in this green grassy area if you had a choice, although it is quite nice, you know, if I were homeless I would probably pick some really really nice green open area where I'm not disturbed by society and human beings and I would not sleep on a bench in the public, I would not go where there's hundreds of other people who are bound to attack you or steal from you or do negative committed things that would inflict upon your lifestyle degradation that would cause you to lose or have to compromise things to have safety right you you have to do something that you wouldn't want to do like taking money in exchange for sex or you know having to give somebody like i saw this video on facebook about these children my gosh, who for drugs will let somebody fuck them several times in the butthole. That's pretty freaking out there, but it's, it's, a, it's a reality. You know, you, you have to consider these thoughts and these experiences as something that's going on in the world and you are more favored and you are more privileged to not have to sell your ass to get on with life, to, to sleep somewhere for a night, you know, it's, 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 it's cruel and upsetting world, but it's, it's the reality of humanity. It's the reality of what is in this space. You know, you can choose not to compromise and live a camping lifestyle out here in the woods. <laughs> I mean, there's other houses and stuff and, you know, everybody would be watching you up here if they look out their window, but it's probably a better lifestyle than having to give up your own freedoms, to give up your own rights, to have to stay with multiple people who would just bother the fuck out of you and be doing drugs, for example, if you were to be housed by a system that wants to get you off the streets and makes money by getting you off the streets, but doesn't necessarily consider how those conditions would affect you and, and be conducive for your own progress, right? So I think it's always important to weigh your decisions with is this a compromise? Is it something I'm willing to give up to receive these benefits? And, and always for me, the question that I'm asking, you know, in any exchange, because life is relationships, you know, every single thing you're communicating with, you have to ask yourself the question, is it actually useful? Does it actually serve toward my betterment? 
And when you're engaging in conversations or when you're engaging with your life, every time you make a decision, you, you want to know that it's making something better. Whether that's how you feel, whether that's the outcome or result you're looking to get, mostly focusing on your emotional compass, your internal being, your state or sense of self, your heart, and paying attention to your emotions, that will serve as your internal guidance system. So paying attention to how you feel, and I literally mean this, is more important than what the heck you can think with logic and facts. If you feel like your life has bound you into a system where you have to give up your freedoms, give up your control, give up your ability to live your life in your own unique role so that you can stay somewhere for a month, stay somewhere for two months, stay somewhere for a year, but you lose all the things that you would enjoy in being in that place for a year, would you consider doing it? If you feel bad doing it and talking to that person about making an agreement that you wouldn't want to consent to, then why would you do it? You wouldn't, right? If you had to sell your ass for a day, every single day for an entire year to have a month's rent, I mean a year's rent, <laughs> you probably wouldn't want to do that shit, man. So, consider what the hell you're doing in your life, you know? I'm not saying that's my example, but it's a fucking real thing, dude. So you have to think about it. What am I willing to give up to have this life? It's just like trying to live and be successful in our idea of what is conventionally successful. Is it making money? Is it being happy? What is it really? Because most people would want to give up money and, and, and have a lower income job, rather make boba instead of working as doctor. And they'll genuinely be happy, for example, but they'll make a third of the income or less every year. They'll give up a hundred thousand dollar job to make thirty thousand dollars a year making boba and they'll be happy that's the point so what are you willing to sacrifice to give up in your life to be able to make that next dream a reality it's always the question it's always the question it's always the question is this actually useful toward my betterment does it make me feel better what would someone who loves themselves do or loved themselves do so uh i have to ask myself the question you know all throughout all of this and, and realistically speaking I want nothing to do with this part of the world be it LA California I want to get the fuck out I don't have any energy here so the moment somebody offers me a helping hand and I'm I am to say I like this person I would love to experience life with them in a different lifestyle without having to be here in LA and I would take that shit and I would go with it I wouldn't hesitate. Now, if somebody were to say, look, I'm going to help you. I'm here I'm here to help you in terms of helping me with my health. And it were an actual, actual, um, acceptable outcome or result that would help me heal my health without having to lose anything that I would value, then fuck yeah, I would do it. It would be worth it. But the moment somebody says, you know, I'm going to take 50% of your income for the next year of your life for the next 50 years of your life you know like to help you with your health challenges now like would it be worth it like genuinely worth it to accept that conditional love and that conditional help rather than the unconditional love of saying i'm going to help pay for whatever expenses you need to be able to help heal your body so you can be able to live your life and get back on your feet again so you can have a better life which one would you want to accept? It's obvious, right? You would want to take the one that is free, that is unconditional, that is loving. So the closer you can get to your relationships and not having to compromise, of course, we have deals. We have business. We have life in society. People that are selfish and would rather be selfless in a different extent, in a different capacity of their lives. Maybe something that doesn't revolve around competition and business. Maybe something that doesn't revolve around a drug trade or, or something that is totally illegal. Then they would go give that money to somebody else. Who knows? But the point of this all is, what are you willing to lose to give up so that you can receive unmet needs, so that you can meet your needs in a way that actually serves you, in a way that is actually there for your benefit to better you and your life? You have to ask the question, is it actually useful toward my betterment? And then you can be able to find the answer.
than all your negotiations and all your conversations and all the things that you would compromise in a daily effort to be able to meet your needs. You would pay attention to your emotions. You would pay attention to your thoughts. You would find out, do they actually align? Do I actually want to be here? Is it actually worth my time and energy? And you would figure out what the hell you are meant to be doing, not in a hellish way, but in a heavenly way, you would have your peace of mind, you would have your health, and you would have more positive relationships because you are doing what is in alignment with your truth and what actually feels good to do. And I think that is very, very important. If you can teach somebody to have the critical thinking skills to walk in alignment with everything they're meant to be, wouldn't you find that the best way to be to proceed? Think about it. I love you, beautiful soul. Thank you for taking care of the world and being a generous light of life. You are everything. I love you.